guys, this is Automotive Anonymous, and today I want to show you how to use a battery charger. The car in question is a 2016 Chevy Cruze Limited. The battery charger we're going to use is a really good one. It's a shoemaker. I've used it on several other vehicles. It has a lot of awesome features such as the 100 amp engine start, a 30 amp quick charge boost, or a trickle charge, 6 to 2 amp range. It has a number of those safety features that include the clamps are versed. If it senses that, it won't charge. It can also tell you if there's a bad battery. It's a pretty straightforward device, so let's get right into it and make this a quick video. I will say, if you guys are purchasing a Shoemaker or any other brand, always read the instructions, make sure you know what you're getting into before you do it, but it's a pretty easy process, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Step one, pop the hood. Step two, locate your battery terminals. Negative is the black down here, and then positive is the red, or what would have the positive sign under there. Think about the battery from its anatomical perspective, or even like a bank account. Negative means energy or money is leaving it. Positive means energy or money would be going into it. So the power is gonna go into the positive, and otherwise it would go out of the negative. That's why you always want to undo the negative when you're gonna take out the battery or work on your car, so that the energy from the battery is kept in the battery and can't be in an open circuit somewhere. Step three, plug in, in our case, the Shoemaker battery charger to a nice circuit, keep it dry, keep it somewhere easy to access, and there it is. We know we just want to do a trickle charge, so that's the two to six amperage charge. It could also do that boost or the 100 engine start as I showed you. It'll show you if the clamps are reversed. And then ours is a standard battery. AGM is more of a high performance type of battery and gel is more of a deep cycle battery so that's not what the standard car is. And then if it was a bad battery, it would tell us right there. Step four, connect the positive and negative terminals to the clamps. I'm gonna start with the positive one first. Never let these touch, of course. Make sure you have a really good connection to it. Positive is on. Negative is on. And then our settings have remained the same. It's trickle charging, it's on the standard. It's reading the current voltage. Once it's high enough, it's gonna quickly turn to the charging and then charged slash maintain setting, which you could leave it on all winter. If it was your performance car, or if you're just leaving it in the garage again until it's ready to get going, you can do that too. I'll also have a video in the next few days on changing out the battery and how to jump start the car with another car. Otherwise, let's take it off because this battery says it's 100% charged. I'm just going to reverse the process. I'm going to take off the negative and then immediately take off the positive. And then once those are taken care of, let's just unplug it. Then you can fold that up, put it away until next time. And that essentially concludes how you use a battery charger on your car. It's a very straightforward process. The one that I used at the time of purchase over a year ago was a little bit under hundred bucks. So not a bad deal when a battery is roughly $200 these days and it's a good way to maintain one, especially when it's not gonna be driven much. If you enjoyed my video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, take care.